We begin with the death of a true military hero, a man that President Obama has called an American original. He was a four-star general, but most Americans simply knew him as Storm and Norman. How are you doing? In 1990, Norman Schwarzkopf was a little-known U.S. Army general looking towards retirement. A West Point graduate and decorated officer for his service in Vietnam, he'd spent his entire career in the Army. But when Iraq's dictator Saddam Hussein invaded neighboring Kuwait in 1990, Storm and Norman became a household name. Let me put it this way, it's going to take as long as it takes for the Iraqis to get out of Kuwait and the United Nations resolutions to be enforced. As the leader of the U.S.-led international coalition that quickly drove Iraqi forces out of Kuwait, Schwarzkopf achieved rock star status. He returned from the Persian Gulf a national hero and was awarded the Medal of Freedom for service to his country. After retirement, he declined offers from both parties to run for political office. President George H.W. Bush issued a statement saying, General Norman Schwarzkopf epitomized the duty service country creed that has defended our freedom and seen this great nation through our most trying international crises. Barbara and I mourn the loss of a true American patriot and one of the great military leaders of his generation.